I'm Mike Duncan here with Gene Stillwell, and we are blessed. We are to have with us in the studio the woman with the best hair in all of show business. True. Pianist Patty Loach, and why is Patty here? Well, because my friends, <laughs> this radio program is all about Gene. <laughs> <laughs> and and and. <laughs> And and Jean and Patty are doing a, a series of shows in the near future, and 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 Patty's here to tell us about it, and I'm sure Jean will throw some stuff in. Hi, hi, how Patty. Are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Very well, thank you. It's hot outside. It's oppressively warm. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, horrible out there. But it's cool here in the studio. It is, isn't it's it? Nice. In more ways than one. You see, <laughs> kind of like a Fonzie kind of thing. <laughs> um, so, what are you guys up to? Well, on Friday, we're doing something really interesting. We're we going are. to the Kerner Concert Hall, which is oh, yes. in the final stages of construction. And they're at the stage where they want to test the acoustics in the hall. So Mervyn Mehta, who has organized a spectacular concert season at the conservatory, mm -hmm. yeah. emailed Jean and asked if she'd like to come in and be a part of the acoustic testing. Now, they're aiming for an N1 rating in this hall. It's a box What's construction. That? What does N1 mean? High, 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 high acoustic rating. So okay. I'm not sure if they'll be putting mics on you when you right. sing. Oh, that's a good question. But uh, it's KPMB, the architects for this hall, have done mm -hmm. a spectacular job. Visually, it is oh, it's, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. It is stunning. Mm -hmm. And I'm just really excited to be standing on that stage with you. And um, we're bringing uh, John awesome. along because they want to test trumpet as well. And hey. he plays trumpet. So we'll probably John is do. Patty's husband. Yes. Mm -hmm. And... I'm hoping that we'll sing um, a song that we've worked on called If I Sing, which is about that Jean sings about her mom, who was oh. also a singer. Can and a, a young Jean would be babysat in the hall outside of her mom's music lessons. Right. In the con. At the con. And your babysitters were? Robert Goulet and John Vickers. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Get out of here! <laughs> Bob Goulet was one of your babysitters? Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. he was going next. To George Lambert, George Lambert was the teacher. They called him Papa. And John Vickers and my mother and Bob Goulet, they all studied with with uh, George Lambert. So, and she had to have to do something with us, <laughs> myself and my brothers. I, I'm picking my jaw up off the floor here. <laughs> wow, it's pretty neat. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, um, I'm that song has a special meaning for me mm -hmm. because the conservatory is still selling seats in their yes. hall yes. as a fundraising effort and uh, we've bought two seats my husband and I one for my mom mm -hmm. and one for John's dad nice. because uh, they you know parents do so much to support children through oh, yeah. all of those years driving mm -hmm. them to lessons paying for lessons it's not cheap keeping pianos in tune so the plaque on the back of my mom's chair will say if I sing and the plaque on the back of John's dad's chair will say you are the music and those are the lyrics to the song that I'm really hoping we can oh, do for on, sure. on Friday we have oh, to wow. do that isn't That's that beautiful? Cool. We've got some stuff coming up after that. Tell us about it, Patty. We certainly <laughs> do. Well, next dates, next Saturday, we're going up to Leith, which is, well, you drive to Owen Sound, and then you turn right. <laughs> no yeah, problem. Okay, okay. So, and then straight on till morning. Right. <laughs> it's like so, Peter Pan. <laughs> yes, exactly. So we're doing um, our whole show, Carmen Unzipped. And uh, I'm just really looking forward to getting out of the city and mm -hmm. being on a beach somewhere nice. after the show. Mm, and nice. It's a very pretty church. It's, it's called the Historic Leith Church. And it's small. It's an intimate intimate um, size. Mm -hmm. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a hundred. Would that be too much? I don't maybe. know. But I'm, I'm interested to see this church because it's an old Scottish Presbyterian church. Mm -hmm. And in the cemetery beside the church is where Tom Thompson is buried. Oh. And Tom Thompson was a member at this church. Neat. But when he was bored during the sermons, he used the hymn books to, sketch. to draw caricatures sure. of the parishioners. <laughs> yeah, I, I did a variation naughty, on that naughty. myself. Yes, yep. yes. And what's happening after that, Patty? After that, well, <laughs> I'm doing a, a, a sweet little show at the North York Center for Performing Arts mm -hmm. with um, Patricia Zantelli, another singer whom I work with. Yes. And uh, that show is called The Shopping Cart of Love. It's a, it's just a darling little show. So that's um, in the middle weekend in September, mm -hmm. and then after that in October, October we're going up to see another beautiful hall that is just oh, being yes. finished. This is interesting, and it has the renovation to the Richmond Hill Center for the Arts, Performing right. Arts. Yeah, was the renovation was designed by Diamond Schmidt. Now mm -hmm. they have just been awarded the contract for St. Petersburg. The 
one of the most sought-after architectural commissions mm. in the world. Pretty exciting. I'm so proud of Canadian mm. architects. My yeah. dad's an architect, oh, and uh, I'm just thrilled for Canadian architects. Hmm. So that that hall is going to be gorgeous. And, and not to mention, I mean, you know, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that the fact that two of you will be performing in Vietnam. That's right. We oh, were. it's going to be so much fun. And we had coffee on Friday with a friend who actually lives in Hanoi. Yes. So she told us about, well, she gave us the skinny on all the great places to shop, where to find wonderful food. And she told us that we're lucky to be going there then in February because it's right before Tet. Now, I heard the word Tet and I thought, ooh, offensive. Ooh, offensive. <laughs> the Tet Offensive was called that because that offensive began on Tet, which is mm. the Lunar New Year. Neat. So this festival in in Hanoi, all of the families get together. It's the biggest festival. And they make all sorts of food. They clean the house. And the whole city is full of kumquat um, trees and peach blossoms. Oh, that's and right. They, ride it on, they have it on their backs when they ride on, the, on their bikes. And, and little scooters and motorcycles. Right. And uh, it's going to be so beautiful in the city then. So if you want to accompany these two fine young women on this cruise, I believe it's groupcruises.ca. That's it's right. Where you can get cruise more holidays of Clarkson. Cruise holidays of Clarkson. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's from February 7th to the 24th. Boy, that that'll should be, be so much fun. That'll be fun. So, Patty, you, you're playing now for, for Patricia Zantilli and Brad Hampton, who we never mention here on the station. No, Brad <laughs> Hampton, Brad Hampton, Brad Hampton. And myself. And um, we have three shows. How much do you practice every day? It depends. I mean, often after I've just done a performance, I won't play for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. I'm just sort of played out. Yeah. But I probably play an hour or two every day. It depends on how much new material I'm working on. If, if I have some a, brunt, a bunch of really difficult new songs, I'm sometimes a little bit afraid to practice because I know how awful it's going to sound for the first little while. <laughs> so, does that sound familiar to you, Jean? Oh, yes, because I have the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's turn the tables. How much do you practice every day? I don't Jean. practice every oh, day. Oh, yeah. See? The yeah, there you go. No, I don't practice every day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But, but part Just of it saying. is driven by, by wanting to be prepared. And yes. part of my practicing is also driven because I'm really a sound junkie. And the piano, although it is really technically just a machine, mm -hmm. when you really get to know it, it's, it's like a drug. Well, you have one of the most beautiful pianos around. So I have a nice Steinway. Yeah. It's a beautiful piano. How can I, I'm probably throwing you for a loop. I hope you have the information. How can people get it, uh, tickets for the Leith concert? They can. All of this information is available on Jean's website, www. Uh, Jean Jean Stillwell. Stillwell. That's with one L. Or they can phone 519-371-5316. Mm -hmm. And that's the Saturday at 7.30. Yes. Cool. Well, I can best of away. luck. Break a leg, as they say. Thanks, Thank Mike. you. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know what? What's because that? I just feel this way. Here is Jean Stillwell and Patty Loach. This is Taylor the Law Table. Oh. <laughs> There's a boy who works at Starbucks who is very inspirational. He's very inspirational because of many things. I come in at 8-11 and he smiles and says, how are you? When he smiles and says, how are you? I could swear my heart grows wings. So today at 8-11, I decided I should meet him. I decided I should meet him in a proper form of a way. So today at 8-11, as he smiled and said, how are you? I said, fine, and my name's Jeannie. And he softly answered, hey. And I told him, my name's Jeannie, and thank you for the extra phone. And he said his name was Taylor, which provides the inspiration for this poem. 